Hey everyone, this project is making the custom linkage to connect the gas pedal to the carburetor with a piece of aluminum round stock on a Restomod Classic Mustang build. The bummer is that there is a roughly 50mm or 2 inch offset between the gas pedal and the corresponding component on the carburetor. This video is going to be the first part of this linkage project where I'm making the linkage itself and the next video will be the end adjusters and bushings. For this project, I'll be using a piece of larger aluminum round stock, brass round stock for the bushings, some acetal for the mandrels, some lock nuts to attach everything, a 3 8 by 16 TPI tap and its matching die, a radius cut high speed steel tool, the regular carbide insert tool I usually use, the parting tool I usually use, and the tailstock die holder I made in a previous project, and of course, the long piece of aluminum round stock. Interestingly, the first operation on this project is a parting operation to cut the round stock to length versus the normal facing cut. With the piece cut to length, I'm measuring out a mark about an inch and a half from the end to know where to stop the threads. Now I get to use my tailstock die holder. If you haven't seen the videos making it, be sure to check them out. With the threads on one side complete, the next step is to repeat the process on the other side. Holding the part in the chuck with a stack of nuts isn't very precise, but I'm just doing it to protect the threads and allow me to quickly polish the part.
It's not perfect, but quite shiny when compared to the original finish, and will provide enough of a mirror finish to match the rest of the many polished components in the engine compartment on the Mustang. Now that the linkage is the right length, threaded on both ends, and polished, I need a couple of bends in it to account for the offset between the carburetor and the gas pedal. To do that, I'm going to use the radius tool to make some mandrels out of the acetyl polymer. It just happened to work out nicely that the radius tool that I have is about the same radius as the round stock I'm working with, which will allow me to easily create the mandrels. With the mandrels complete, I can use my bench vise as a makeshift bender. I did have a small issue trying to bend against the threads since they are the weaker area and wanted to bend first. However, luckily I had a piece of scrap from another project that worked nicely as a sleeve to protect the threads during bending. And that's pretty much it. After bending, it has a slight amount of wobble on a flat surface, but it will be negligible once it's installed, and the two offset ends are nearly parallel with each other, which is exactly how it needed to be. I'm pretty impressed with how nicely this first part turned out, and I'm sure it will look great under the hood once I finish the rest of it and can get it installed. As always, thanks so much for watching, hit that thumbs up if you saw something you liked, comment with any thoughts, and be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And also, if you want to see behind the scenes pictures and sneak peeks of upcoming videos, be sure to follow me on the Instagram linked below.